hi everyone welcome to spring boot rest api exception handling tutorial in this video i'm gonna show you how to implement custom exception handling in a spring boot project so look at here this is a spring boot mysql gpi hibernate restful crude api tutorial so this tutorial recently i have created and published it on my youtube channel and in this tutorial i haven't implemented custom exception handling and in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to implement custom ex exception handling for spring boot restful crude web services so basically this part is continuation of the Spring Boot MySQL GP Hibernate RESTful Crude API tutorial. Alright, great. Spring Boot provides a good default implementation for error handling for REST web services. But sometimes we need to customize our error response as per the requirement. So look at here, this is the default error response provided by Spring Boot and it contains all the required information for example timestamp status error message and path if the resource not exist in the database then spring boot will create this error response and it will send to the client like this okay and sometimes we want to create our own custom error response for example so this is the spring boot custom error response and whenever we want to customize our error response then we need to implement our own custom error response handling so in this video, I want to show you how to implement custom error response handling uh, in detail. This is Spring Boot Crude a RESTful Web Services project. So this project uh, I have created step by step in previous video tutorial. I will be providing a link in the video description so that if you don't know how to create Spring Boot Crude RESTful Web Services, then you can just uh, visit my previous video tutorial. All right. And now. I want to show you how this default Spring Boot error handling works. Alright, for that I am going to run this Spring Boot project. Right click run a Spring Boot app. And this will run Spring Boot project on embedded Tomcat server 8080. Alright. Great. Now what we will do, we will test the get REST API from the Postman client. For example, if the user record with id 19 is not existing in database then spring boot will return a error response with all the details like this for example i am going to send the request again yeah look at here so this is the default error handling provided by spring boot okay great even though it provides all the uh, you know required details but sometime a uh, customer requirement or client requirement our business requirement we need to customize our error response or error handling okay let us see how to do it now let us see how to handle exceptions and errors in apis and sending the proper response to the client in previous video tutorial we have you know developed few rest apis right for example so this is the rest api get user by id and this rest api basically fetch a user with a given id and if user not exist with a given id in database then it throws resource not found exception okay and spring boot by default provides error or exception handling for this exception but we want to create our own custom exception handling right and look at here one more api update user this also throws the resource not found exception if user is not exist with this id and similarly for delete user api okay now what we will do we will create our own custom exception handling and we handle this exception and we create a proper response and we send it back to the client okay let me show you how to do that it's pretty simple what we need to do is we need to just create a class and inside this class we define all the details that we want to send to the client for example i am i name this class as error details and let's create few fields private i am going to send a date uh, the date that time the exception occurred timestamp private i am going to send a message error message private string and details so if you want to send the details then we can create a details field here and apart from this field if you want to send any other information to the client you can uh, define in this class okay 
now what we'll do we quickly create a getter setter methods to access these private fields and also create a parameterized constructor all right great so this is a very important step uh, whatever you want to send to the client you can define in this class okay so to keep it simple i am going to just return these three fields to the client in a response now what we'll do we'll create a global exception handler where we basically you know uh, handle all the exception we handle you know uh, uh, specific exception as well as global exception so i'm going to name it as global global exception handler okay this is the common class where we you know uh, handle all the exceptions now let's annotate this class with add controller advice annotation so add controller advice annotation is annotation to handle exceptions globally and it is a specialization of at the rate component annotation and this this class is auto detected by our component scanning all right now this is the spring bin and this is auto detected while component scanning all right just remember add controller advice in annotation which you to use to handle exceptions globally now here inside this class we handle specific exceptions okay exceptions and we handle global exceptions global exceptions okay now let us see how to do it so in in api in get user by id api we have seen that this api throws resource not found exception if user is not exist in a database right now first handle this uh, this exception resource not found exception so what i will do here is i will create a method public response entity and this is the generic and i am going to name method as handle specific exception like this or handle resource not found exception something like this okay and inside that we need to pass the parameter that is the name of the uh, you know uh, exception resource not found exception and here we pass web request so we want to retrieve a url from the web request and we send that url to the client for that i'm going to just get a web request here okay now what we'll do we create object of error details class we we'll fill this object and we send this object to the client it's pretty simple so just provide a current date and message like exception dot get message and details so i want to just send a url to the client so i'm going to just call get description and i say false so that it will only return a url without any description okay great now what we'll do we'll return this object pass the object error details and then http status not found okay great so this is the specific message handling right so we have just handled resource not found exception if you want to handle any other exception what you can do is you can just create a custom exception over here and you can write this piece of code and you can just replace this exception with other exception okay so one more thing is we need to annotate this method with at the rate 
exception handler annotation and here we need to pass the exception name the resource not point exception dot class like this so this exception handler annotation is used to handle the specific exceptions and sending the custom response to the client so remember at exception handler is annotation used to handle a specific exceptions and sending the custom response to the client okay here we are sending custom response of resource not found exception now what we'll do we'll send uh, we need to handle a global exception here let us say apart from this exception if any exception occur in our project then we need to handle it right so here we will handle the base exception that is exception okay apart from this resource not found exception if there are any exceptions occur in our spring project then that exception will be handled here and the response object will be created for this exception and again this will be sent back to the client so here what we need to do is we need to just replace a resource not found exception with the exception like this and this is the method we can change handle global exception all right it's pretty simple and here i'm going to change the status i'm going to say internal server error it's pretty simple right and let us say if you want to handle one more specific exception for example i'm going to create one more exception here i'm going to call it as api exception something like this and this will just extends runtime exception and here i will create api exception like this and string message super and send this to the super class constructor and this is the serial id all right and what you can do is you can just copy this code and here we need to just paste it here and instead of resource not found exception just replace with api exception and here handle api exception that's it and you can provide any status that you want to return to the client or you can detail any you can just uh, you know uh, fill up any error details for this specific exception okay so this is how we handle specific exception as well as global exception in global exception handler class so remember these two annotations are very important the annotation to handle global exceptions and at exception handler is annotation used to handle specific exceptions and sending the custom response to the client okay great yeah that's it i mean you only need two steps so first step is you need to define the pojo class with all the details that you want to send to the client and second step is you need to create a global exception handler and you need to configure uh, specific exceptions as well as global exceptions like this now what we'll do we'll run the application and we'll test it right click and run as spring boot app spring boot application is running on embedded tomcat server 8080 now let's go ahead and let's test it so let us say if user 19 is not existing database then we'll get a response like this timestamp message and detail okay so this is the get api that we have seen in a user controller right so this is the get user by id if, if user with a given id is not existing database then we throw resource not found exception with this message and this is what the message we got here user not found with id 19 and these are the details we have defined in error details here right if you want to send a few more details to the client you can just define in this class and you can fill the details in here okay it's pretty simple nothing fancy okay let us say if you want to delete the user which is not existing database then 
this will also give us the same error so this is the custom error response that we have implemented okay i hope you understood how to implement exception handling in spring boot project and uh, and how to create a error response and how to send error response back to the client all right i hope you understood this tutorial thanks for watching i will see you in the next video